3825 Glenbrook Road is a residential property located in the Spring Valley neighborhood of Northwest Washington, D.C. During the World War I era, the property was part of a larger area known as the American University Experiment Station, where the U.S. government researched and tested chemical agents, equipment, and munitions. Two prior investigations of the property recovered and safely removed hundreds of experiment station related items, hundreds of pounds of glassware, and tons of contaminated soil. The Corps of Engineers, in coordination with the Environmental Protection Agency, the District Department of the Environment, and American University, conducted a thorough review and extensive public comment period, and ultimately decided to remove the house, clean up the property, and then restore it to residential standards. In November 2012, the house was removed, and cleanup is now underway. For an explanation of the cleanup process and a tour of the site, here is Project Manager Brenda Barber. We're standing outside the Minicams trailer, which will provide continuous air monitoring of all the air filtered by the chemical agent filtration systems. This is near real-time air monitoring to ensure that there is no risk to the public from any agent that would be discovered during our process here at the site. Another key component of the safety procedures that we have here in place, in addition to the mini camps, is the chemical agent filtration systems that you see here behind me. This is the air filtration systems for the engineering control structure, and it is designed with proven technology to filter any agent that may be discovered as part of this process. It uses HEPA and carbon technologies to process and treat any agent so that there is no release to the outside atmosphere and therefore no risk to the public. Here you can see the ductwork coming into each of the three chemical agent filtration systems that we have here on site. The main ductwork comes off the engineering control structure, which is where the work will be done during each phase of the process. And you can also see the soldier pile wall that we installed behind the retaining wall here in the backyard under low probability, which is where we did encounter some discoveries in our initial work here at the site. Because we're in a residential setting, and the chemical agent filtration systems can be quite loud. We developed a noise abatement system which dampens the noise provided by these equipment to within the residential standards established by the District of Columbia, which are currently 55 decibels. This is the air monitoring station that we will be utilizing throughout the process to gather real-time weather data so that in the event of an emergency, if there were a chemical release, we could determine the dispersion of that release. Additionally, this smaller green tent is what we call the dress-in and dress-out tent, which is where our employees will put on their personal protective equipment at the beginning and end of each day. So here we are inside the dress tent for the employees. This is where we will house all their personal protective equipment. So as you can see, they have their booties, their hard hats, their vests, their supply lines for air, and their masks to protect them in the event of a release. After the employees are dressed out in their personal protective equipment and they've had their vitals taken, they will move into the personal decon station to have their PPE verified and checked prior to their entry into the engineering control structure. At this point, their masks will be checked and they'll be put on tanks of air until they move inside the engineering control structure. Here we are standing in the front yard of 4825 Glenbrook Road. As you can see, the house is gone now. We demolished it in late 2012. Now we are prepared to begin the high probability excavation work underneath the engineering control structure. This work will be done by a highly trained team of professionals using this mini excavator that you see here. As we progress through the work, if we get into debris or begin to find items, the team will very carefully hand dig the soils in order to eliminate the risk to the public and mitigate any potential risk. So once the employees are done with their shift inside the engineering control structure, they need to be properly deconned. So they will exit the engineering control structure and move into the personal decon station again, where they will be deconned by a trained team of employees waiting to help assist them. If there were a medical emergency, the employee would be quickly decon through the personal decon station and would stop here for medical monitoring 
and then would be transported down the emergency egress to an ambulance that will be waiting on Glenbrook Road. So if there were a medical emergency that would require us to remove employees quickly from the site, they would go through gross decon and we would use this ramp that we constructed here to remove that employee from the site onto the street where an ambulance will be waiting to take them to the hospital. During high probability operations, all work will be monitored by two video cameras mounted here in the engineering control structure. This electronic feed goes to our command post at the top of the site and will allow our experienced team to continue to monitor the work and to mitigate any potential risk to the public. We hope you enjoyed your tour of Glenbrook Road today. As you can see, this is a very complex environmental cleanup project. We are using proven engineering technologies and a highly trained and experienced staff so that we can ensure safety throughout the entire project. Once we are complete, we'll restore the property to residential standards so it can be beneficially reused in the future by the property owner.